Hi folks, uh, Mr. Bullock again. Uh, this geometry lesson is on uh, theorems about perpendicular lines. Okay, I'm gonna from now on I'm gonna skip the board problems in the videos. I'll still have them in my class, but uh, I'm gonna skip them in the videos just to save some time, you guys. So here's some theorems, you guys. If two lines are perpendicular, then they form four right angles. We've seen that. Uh, this is probably the fourth time we've dealt with this one right here. Okay, if two lines intersect to form a linear pair. Uh, if two lines intersect to form a, a, a linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. Okay, so here's two lines that intersect to form a linear pair, and these guys are congruent. And if these linear pairs are congruent, then they make right angles. They have to because they add up to 180. So if they're congruent, they each got to be 90 and 90. So there's my 90s right there, 90 and 90. So they, they, uh, they're perpendicular. If a transversal is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it's perpendicular to the other. So here's a transversal that's perpendicular right here to these two parallel lines. So if it's perpendicular to that one, it's perpendicular to the other parallel line also. Okay. Um, okay. If two perpendicular lines, uh, if if lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel to each other. Okay. So if these lines are perpendicular to this line right here, this transversal, then these lines got to be parallel to each other. That's what that one's saying. All right, so the distance from a point to a line is the perpendicular segment that joins them. Okay, so here it is right here. There's the, a point right there and a line. Okay, this wouldn't be the distance. This would not be the distance. This guy going right through here. Okay, that wouldn't be the distance. Okay. This one would not be the distance. Only the one that goes straight down. Actually, I did those wrong. This one wouldn't be the distance. If I started right here, okay, that wouldn't be the distance. Neither would that one right there. The line that's the perpendicular goes straight down is the distance right there. That's the distance. It has to go perpendicular to it. All right. All right. So here, segment AB is perpendicular to segment BC. Find the value of x. Okay. So here we go. All right. So this one, so right here, this segment is perpendicular to this segment. So that means there's a right angle right there, which means it's 90. And so by my angle addition postulate, uh, 68 plus x equals 90. So x must be 22 degrees. Okay, how about this one? Okay, got a right angle right there. So again, angle addition postulate, you get x equals 13. How about this one? Okay, again, you got a right angle. So add those together, you should get x equals 9. Okay, piece of cake, huh? All right, so here's a word problem. The retail cost. The graphs at the the graph at the right models the cost of renting a moving van. Write an equation of the line, then find the cost of renting the van on a hundred mile trip. Okay, so it looks like we got another graph right here. So I want to get it in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, right there is b right there because that's at zero right there. So zero comma thirty. They told me that. So that's b right there. So it's y equals mx plus 30, I just got to find m, and so I'm going to use slope formula. Slope formula, I got 3 fifths, so y equals 3 fifths x plus b, so y equals 3 fifths x plus 30. Okay, so there's the equation of the line. Then it says, ride, uh, f then find the cost of renting the van on a 100 mile trip. Okay, x stands for uh, the miles, so 100 miles is what I'm going to plug in right there. Right there is going to be 100. Y is the cost. This is my cost, and see, that's y right there. X is over here, X is the miles, Y is the cost, okay? So plug in 100 right there, so 5 goes into 100 20 times, and 3 times 20 is 60, 60 plus 30 is 90 bucks.